and welcome back to my channel as you can tell by the title the thumbnail and the makeup on my face right now today i will be showing you how to create this super smoky super glittery makeup look i really like it very very simple didn't take me that long it's super simple um because it takes like two shades maybe three shades from the natasha denona xenon palette and it looks nice and smoky very mysterious and <laughs> it just looks nice i think so i hope you like it too and if you do and would like to learn how to create this look then all you have to do is keep on watching i haven't done a proper makeup tutorial in such a long time like i don't even know where to start i mean i'm gonna focus on my eyes first as always especially with me using black today i'm gonna use the natasha denona xenon palette because i have this particular makeup in mind i feel like i have done it before to be fair but i don't know i just i really want that glitter and like the darker shades on my face today so that's what we're going to do as always i'm going to start off by priming my lid and today i'm going to be using the anastasia beverly hills eye primer by the way highly recommend fake your tan in your whole body <laughs> rather than just your face like i did today i really wanted some tan but yeah i applied way too much of the um u-tan face mist and I haven't done anything else to my body, so my face is uh, it's a little tan today. And plan of action is a little bit different today. I'm actually going to start off with the black because I kind of want that to be my main focus today, my main colour. And I'm putting that on my outer corner, just packing it on. I've got a really fluffy brush right now because I'm going to be covering quite a big surface area. So this is the Real Techniques 200. And now I'm just like tapping this black in right here on the outer corner, just slightly above the crease. I'm rounding it out. I'm taking a little bit more black tap 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 right here on the mobile lid at a slight angle so far i haven't done any like windshield wiper motions or anything i'm quite literally tapping it on because i want that black to be black you know now i'm taking a fluffy brush and working on that outer corner on the very edge of where my black sort of stops and I'm just going to use that clean brush to blend the edges of that black in sometimes you don't need a lot of shades you just need a lot of blending and this is kind of that look so get a black and get blending okay cool I'm now going to use my finger and pick up that wonderful shade called chromatic that's going all over that's gonna go all over the mobile lid well avoid the black you've already done sort of a lot of hard work there so I'm going in the center all the way to my crease into the sort of the inner corner all the way up to the crease again you want to go slightly above but not super like all the way to your brow you don't want to do that i mean you could that could be a look but that, again not what i'm doing today one more brush to blend the edges of this shimmery shade and that those specks of that um shimmer can go all the way to the brow so you want to blend it in like so oh i'm loving this look i'm taking more black and packing it on 
where the two meet on my mobile lid so blending in that shimmer by just tapping now you've got the shimmer you don't want to fluff it around too much i've lined my brushes up so i know which one is for which color this is the black blender one and if i haven't said it before very important to do your eyes first when you're using a black shade because all you have to do is get some makeup remover and all that fallout disappears whereas if you were applying your foundation first this is impossible to do so i'm getting rid of a lot of that black from underneath I swear I've done a look like this. I know I have. Surely I have. <laughs> okay, let me catch up with the other eye really quick and I will be right back. I couldn't leave it alone. I had to have a look if I made this look before. It looks kind of similar. When I was reviewing the um, Natasha Denona Xenon palette initially, I did sort of make a similar look. I mean, I'm using the same shades, but the look I made initially is a completely different shape. So that's my excuse for doing something similar. Anyway, let's move on to the rest of the face. It's going to be very simple using my favorite products. Majority of it is Fenty because it lasts on my face. It looks cute. I love them. I'm starting off with a little bit of the Fenty Longwear Pro Filter Foundation, whatever it's called. For my concealer today, I'm going to use the Anastasia Beverly Hills Magic Touch Concealer. And I'm actually using a brush to blend this in. For my contour, as always, I'm using the Fenty Beauty Cream Bronzer and Butter Biscuit. This product never disappoints. It always puts a, a smile on my face. Before I powder, I'm going to finish off my eyes because I want that black to be nice and intense. But I need to be very, very, very careful. So... Do I want to use that big brush? Why not? Again, if you have smaller eyes, just use a smaller brush. And I'm using the black first, tapping it on the outer corner. Do I want it all the way in? To sort of mix it up. I think I am. It's going to be nice and smoky, so it shouldn't make the eyes smaller. And I'm going to leave a tiny little gap, a tiny little one for that shimmer on the inner corner. And the beauty of a wet concealer is now that I can take the brush I was using to blend the concealer in. And I can blend this black even more. I can't wait to put that shimmer on. So I'm doing that. I'm putting that on the inner corner. That looks terrible. That's a little bit better. Time to powder. I'm using the Laura Mercier Translucent. I'm just doing a light dusting all over. All over, all over. <laughs> and to finish off the face, I'm gonna add a touch of the Jaclyn Hill Iced Highlighter. I'm just going to put a black liner on my bottom waterline to complete the look. Then it's just mascara, some falsies, and then I'm going to do the lips real quick. Okay, and for my lips, I just love these types of combinations. I'm doing like proper 2000s kind of lips. I'm going to start off with the Barry M Lip Liner and Toast. And my lipstick today is going to be Butterscotch from Anastasia Beverly Hills. One thing I don't like about this lipstick is that it's satin. So I'm going to blot it. It's like this foundation lips soft situation. I like it. 
All right, you guys, so here it is. This is my first proposal for this year's Christmas, Thanksgiving, New Year's look. <laughs> I love wearing these types of shades, loads of shimmer on the lid this time of year. I can't imagine myself wearing something like this during summer. I mean, you could, don't get me wrong, but it just hits different around this time of year. As always, I hope you have enjoyed this tutorial. I hope you like the look because I am feeling myself. I like it. So, yeah, I hope you have enjoyed that. If you did, make sure to like, comment, subscribe. But for now, thank you so much for watching. You are the best and I hope to see you next time.